Hi, Bonnie. So we're in recording mode again, and it's week four. And I and and I I and Ginny, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming on. We've got a huge amount. And Solani says that she's got the same colour as us on today. Awesome. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. But first and foremost, what I want to say, you know, normally coming up to this event, Ginny and I are busy. Very, About yeah. four, 48 hours or three, four days, even the week before this, this event. It's our fourth event and we're getting to be huge. So I am, because I'm the technical person, I'm s sussing out a bigger modality to hold up to a thousand shortly because this is what's going to happen. Wow. <laughs> but first and foremost, what I want to say to you all is something dear to my heart that I have discovered in the last 48 hours about healing. There are seven point something billion people on this planet. And each person is so unique in their healing. Now, most of my clients, 80% of my clients uh, know nothing about spirituality. So hence, Ginny and I are able to be present with everybody because we just go in into the heart matter, soul to yeah. soul. Someone called me a forensic, that I have a forensic soul. And I know that Ginny and I have this forensic soul. So I'm just going to touch on a couple of things before we begin, because now it's coming through. Because we had the same colours on, don't we all? <laughs> so I, I have a forensic soul. Ginny has a forensic soul, and we're very rare. But when we connect with everybody, um, where there are two halves, it makes a whole. So this is why Ginny and I can do what we can do together collectively. Yeah. So we go into the WhatsApp. It's not that we <clears throat> we spend our time doing it. In that moment, in that time when a healing takes place, especially in something like this, wow. All these things. So Ginny and I are this rainbow bridge. And we are so, our attention, it's our attention to detail is mm -hmm. what matters. Not our intention, but our attention. Our attention is with that person, with you all individually and collectively at one moment. But because we've been doing this for years, we we fine tune it every day. So we do not have any expectations. All we do is just turn up. So I want to clear that up for you. And also too, I'm noticing the deeper that I go into a healing, the deeper that Ginny goes into a healing, may it be physical, may it be for, uh, spiritual or on a soul level. When something shifts, one cell, one cell in a body that heals, everything shifts. Yeah. So it's this amazing. is why uh, it's totally amazing, isn't it, Ginny? Yes, yes. But I want to touch on just three factors because this has come up since our last one. How can we heal distantly? What is distant healing? What is a spiritual crisis? What is a pullback? I'm going to say just quickly, and Ginny's going to come in too. When a healing takes place, whether it be small or, or huge, again, we, we have an attention detail in what is happening. Sometimes people can go away and start feeling like they're having a crisis. Now, this is the crucial point that I tell everybody. Sometimes, because your body or your soul essence has been living a certain way for many, many years, it becomes foreign to you in change. And what happens is you've been so used to living with walking sticks or, um, and you've seen Ginny's and my testimonials when what people are saying, they're used to living a certain way. 
and it becomes habit forming. So what can happen in that spiritual crisis is you can actually pull back and draw back to you what you've been accustomed to because you've been living a certain way. So hence the nurturing afterwards, and I encourage everybody to, to rest after, after rehealing. Another one too is also I want to say Ginny and I are pattern um, breakers. When you see Ginny and I work and she, she's, she's very focused in her attention, I'm very focused in my attention when we work together. We are actually cutting patterns in your life of living a certain way. So you'll see our hands go like this. And it's really natural because we're working out there. When I don't work in the aura field, I work out in the etheric field where Ginny is such a pro. I'm so proud of her that she does the chakras and she does the aura field and everything. So hence how a, a shift can happen within moments. I've just about finished, but this was the housekeeping, so to speak, before we begin. I want to say that every single one of you that are here today and listening to this are so unique and so beautiful and so precious. So we come to you in that moment of your uniqueness. In other words, your soul story, your, your whole life story in honour of, of you, no matter what colour, creed, um, dimension, I'll, I'll say dimension. I'm also too um, very empathic and I'm able to feel your pain and see your pain. So I want to start it now and I'm going to hand it over to Ginny, but this is what I wanted to, to express to you before we begin. Ginny. The floor okay. is uh, Hi, everyone. Welcome. Um, it's so great to see more and more people joining us, which is wonderful. Um, I just want to add with the distant healing, um, this is how I see things and how I feel things work. And I know that Heather is the same here. We actually are living in uh, ebbing and flowing and moving energy field. And it's all around this planet. It's all around, it's all in the universe. It's everything is absolutely connected in this. And I call it the quantum field. Mm. And so when we do distant healing, because we're using our energy and our soul vibration and our frequency and everything else that we've got, even though we can be sat here in our physical form, we're out there working with you. We're, we're, we're reaching you. And when, when, you know, when we see you, we see the physical, yes, but we actually see far, far more than that. We see soul. We can see your soul. We can see your frequency, your vibration, your, um, when I see a person and I tune myself into that certain way of seeing, I can actually see your light codes mm -hmm. and, and patches in the body that may need clearing or, or mm. everything else. And then if I bring it back to me and we join together almost as our energies join, then I can feel in my body, and I know Heather agrees with me here, we can feel in our bodies something that's going on for you. So it's like, you know, that shifting that you might see us do or you mm. might see me sat here and I might look like I'm not doing much, but believe me, I'm out there. <laughs> so um yeah look we're here i've got massive list of people um so we'll get to it shall we heather I'll just absolutely read. absolutely yeah. please yep let's begin okay right and here we go yeah okay on the list we have donna jenneth alvina Gabby, Denise, Sylvia, Angel, Sif, Bonnie, Kalina, Kalini, um, Aisha, K, 
Carol, Linda, Sylvia, Gloria, Selene, Ellen, Amita, Catherine, Claudia, Rowena, Christine, Doreen, Mel, Heidi, Iram, uh, Justine, and I know Justine needs a little bit of help, so perhaps we can jump back to Justine. Maybe, in a yeah, please. Yeah. Um, Glyn, Teresa, Elizabeth, Susan, Strom, Liz, Kelly, Anne, Justine, Robin, Rosina, uh, Sandy, Teresa, Alfrasinia, Sanat, Esmeralda, Renee, Andrea, Lorianne, Deborah, Mary, Faye, Mikiel, Marie, Lisa, Amy, Heather, Berthrin, Pratika, Pamela, Gabriella, Tanya, Rashmi, Vicky. That's it. Wow. Yes, I know that's a, a lovely long list of people. And so glad that everyone's now coming on board because this needs to be shared so the whole world can receive healing. Even people who watch this video or the replay will mm. receive. Mm. So, now, we, Genus Who Computer, she's just messaged me, Who Computer has just frozen and it's a hot day over there. Oh. She who her, her screen is just frozen. So we've got Jeanneth Gen with us. But okay. shall we head back to that beautiful lady that you that you called yes. out that we should go back to? Justine. Justine. Yeah. So we'll go back to her. Hi Justine. I know that you'll be listening or for the recording. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You're a courageous soul being here today. Yes. Many blessings. Whew, that was really easy. We just got in straight away, didn't we? So I use my breath in to be able to get into someone's etheric field. I use my feeling centre. Mm -hmm. And I can feel Justine. And I know bits and bobs of what's going on for Justine, but I can feel how she feels inside. She, um, she's, yeah, her, her energy field is, is rather dizzy. It is, it's all over the place, yeah. It's like, it's like she's been just cut off in the mid-drift. I call it the mid-drift. Those with, with her. Yeah. A state of confusion as well. Mm. It's like her soul essence, her soul essence is standing outside of her body, not wanting to come in. Um, because it's a natural state for us to be turning like this in an energy form. Her one has been toppled over and it's come come out, so it, it's come out of... Um, out of alignment isn't she yeah out of alignment so she's here but she's over here on the left a little bit so now i ask why as her soul essence why she doesn't want to get back in yeah when there's a trauma in someone's life an illness a pain um destruction terror what happens is is our whole being becomes so frightened and fragile and what takes over this robot form, this this robot form, and we make out that we're fine, but really we're not. So what happens is, again, I, I would like to know why, so I'll just ask. I know a little bit about Justine's situation. Yeah. And I know that there are things that need to change in her life, but having the courage to make those changes is very difficult for them. Oh, 
Oh, you are so well loved. Mm, she is. No, she's not wanting to come back. I'm a great advocate for um, heading back into your childhood. I'm a great advocate for that, that, that everyone must head back, but you need to find a, a very good practitioner that practices um, childhood memories. Yeah, childhood trauma, yeah. Yeah, this case, yes. Okay, can we connect with her afterwards because there's a lot going on. What I'll do is um, Okay, no, it's working now, Chinny. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. Let's go in. Hmm. Yeah. I think there's something else going on here. Hmm. This is a forensic coming yeah. up. Okay, I think I might. I think I might got it. But she's okay. um, she's she needs something to be removed from her. I'm just going to go in and do it. Okay. Done. Good. But I, I still feel, I mean, that was on an etheric level, but I think Justine needs some, someone to work with her, hmm. I feel. Best we get that page open, shall we? Yeah. yeah. We'll get that page open. I'll do that. Okay. okay, there's a few of you there that I know um have issues that there are just so many blocks to your potential to abundance to wellness to um and i know that some of you on here that are suffering with that yeah. so janisha we do a a clearing let's just do a clearing on the ones that are having problems with um abundance issues um can't seem to get ahead it's funny um, you should bring that up because i i was actually going to say to you just to show how in tune we are i was going <laughs> to say to you i'm getting so many people coming to me with abundance blocks we need to work on this <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> okay right let's so for any of you, that, yes, for any of you that are listening or seeing us and you have abundance blocks or issues with just so many blocks coming your way, 
you know, and you've done the, the whole personal development program and there's still blocks there. So we will help with that. Yeah. Um, I think if it's all right with you, Heather, afterwards, mm. perhaps I can take people through that yes. going out there and drawing in abundance. Um, okay. Thing that I, yeah. We can do that. Yeah. We can do that. So shall we move on? I want to head with Linda Reed, actually. I, Linda, are you able to, my darling, um, unmute yourself and come online? Look, we have beautiful Gina still there. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. She's really showing us there's a hot day on the other side of the world. Hi, Linda. Hi. Hi, Linda. Hello. Nice to meet you. Lovely you? to meet you. How can we help you? Oh, um, I have a number of physical issues. Mm -hmm. um, not life-threatening, but um, I had problems with, I've had problems with my feet for a long time. I had blood pressure issues. I have hypothyroidism, um, which makes me very weak, like a struggle to get upstairs and things like that. Um, and I have been blocking prosperity for a long time as well. So, Okay. Right then, I'd like to um, just be very present with you, both Ginny and I. Yeah. And if you could share with us what you're feeling. I'm going to take the bottom part of you, if I may. <laughs> <Come for it. laughs> I'm drawn to your feet. Okay. <laughs> because once, once we clear the blockage in your feet, medically, spiritually, and emotionally, this is where you will be able to step up into and out of what you've been used to living into. I always know that our feet... Our legs and our feet are the, the most um, powerful force. So I'm going to go into medically. Oh, that's quick. How are you feeling? Um, in your feet? Um, they feel fine. They're, they're not... There's still some pain there, but I mean, it's, it's a lot better than it was, um, say, a year ago. Um, so that's been improving anyway. Are they swollen? Well, yeah, they're, they're, they're a little bit swollen. Um, not as bad as they were. And my ankles, there's like a big lump on the outside of each ankle. Just which. But you're retaining a lot of fluid. Yeah, I'm retaining fluid. I have Are lost some, but I'm still overweight. Are you on any medication like fruzamide or anything? I'm on medication to regulate my heartbeat, to lower my blood pressure, to work with my hypothyroidism, to get my thyroid hormones back into line, and I'm on anti-depression medication. Okay. Can I – sometimes we need to go through the medication before we get to the salt essence. What happens is um, – what happens is our um, – As Ginny said before, we're able to see into your grid line. And in there, it can look a little bit hazy due to medication, due to um, things that we've had to have to support our well-being. And I know with antidepressants and I know with um, a lot of other things, we have to speak to that drug and thank that drug because it was all created and there's that honouring and thanking this drug for supporting you. Yeah. Isn't that correct, Jenny? Because you're just such a precious person. It is. Have you had your, your creativity flow? Does it feel like it's been stifled? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm feeling the thyroid and and because your some of your three chakras, four chakras are have got some blockages in. That's your sacral chakra, which is just below your belly button, mm -hmm. and that's your creativity center. Mm -hmm. About, 
I almost feel like you've been stifled, like you can't do what you want to do. You're getting frustrated over it. Um, you Also, you feel like your power's been taken away. Again, another form of frustration. Um, your throat, you're not being able to express yourself like you would like to. Um, and I don't know whether you felt this, but um, it's almost like you feel detached from being connected with everything. That would be fair. So, while Helen's doing her thing, I'm going to get in there on your chakras and um, <laughs> and clear out what I feel needs to get taken away. Okay? okay. Mm -hmm. Have you had a lot of emotional things go on throughout your life, but you haven't expressed through things or allowed it out, held it in? Yeah, um, for large parts of my life, yes. Yeah. This is, this is part of it. You've not been able to express it out of your body and expel it, if you like, as you've gone through these things. You, and instead, you've been like a lot of us are, and you... Have kept it in and and thought no we'll just soldier on you know without actually screaming or shouting or ranting and raving or whatever it is that you needed to do at the time and and unfortunately it's come back into your body so we're gonna work on that and work on freeing that your energy center oh I can't <laughs> My energy seems to upset. And you know, once we can free that up, you'll feel a lot freer everywhere else. But you need to express yourself. I mean, I, I've been down a certain road with the thyroid thing myself, so I, I know a lot about this. And that is that you haven't been able to express frustrations, emotional stuff, and things like that. So you need to really, if you can, is work on yourself about speaking your truth, expressing what you need to express, um, you know, just doing it in a way where it doesn't have to be done through anger or anything like that, but just expressing from the heart, even through love, whatever mm. way you find. Yeah, I'm, I'm very careful about how I express myself. Yeah. Probably too careful. <laughs> too careful. I was just going to say that, Linda. Linda, yeah. There is, Do you do any there's, no, there's nothing wrong in taking a pillow and beating it. Yes. Isn't that right, Jenny? Do you know Absolutely. I I took two hundred teenagers to this mountain once, and I got them to go upstairs to bring down their pillow, and I got them to beat those pillows sometimes we need to um find a sacred safe place where we could just let it all out yeah absolutely even go out into nature and swim. let it all out yeah whatever it takes <clears throat> it's, it's the same with you know a lot of young people that i have come to me that are showing frustration as well I mean, I say to them, if there's any way that they could get a punch bag hung up in their garage or something so they can go in and let it out. And that's why exercise is so important mm. because it's a way of expressing that, not just emotional stuff, but that physical, mm. uh, you know, physical expression. Do you, We've, have you I've actually done kind of Sorry. wanting a punch bag for ages? Have you? <laughs> I think you should get one. <laughs> I think you I think you need to ask your husband to get you a punch bag. Yes. 
there's a lot of punch bags at the second hand shops and um it's it's good to to beat it. You have to physically sometimes beat that yeah. stuff away from your system. Beat and let allow anything to come up and go boom, 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 and just beat it out of your system. Yeah. I think here goes my hand, Ginny. I'm just gonna wanna tap all around her, if I may. Yeah. Um I, Linda, you're gonna just let me know if you're feeling anything. And and I'm just gonna cut away and what is not longer serving you, if I may, and just see what happens. I have my breath so I'm in there. She, you are so beautiful. And did you know they call us the Botox ladies? That we can <laughs> <laughs> we um just cut I just want to keep cutting. Just so that th there's going to be a trail for you to walk on. It's just overgrown with a lot of weeds. Mm. Just so many weeds that it's just yeah, so we're just gonna cut it. Cut it, cut it. I'm just going to cut it. Because I, I can. Do you know about oh. the energy centers in the body? Yes. Yeah. Okay. See, if, if you can, do this exercise every day. You literally just get your hand and, oh, I'll, if I do it on my eyes so you can see, mm. you literally just rub each center very gently, starting with the base, then working the way up. So you start with your base chakra, then your sacral, then your solar plexus, and give the intention that you're just clearing them out and cleaning them every day. Mm. Do that, and you'll feel the heat in your hand. And I think it was Glyn that mentioned it last week, iodine. Yes. Iodine. Iodine. Yeah. For your thyroids yeah iodine and selenium as well is really good so um iodine i will try and find a link and put it up there won't we Ginny? afterwards yeah for you you know and, and thank you linda because what it shows us is the cliche new age and i'm going back 30 years said that we need to surrender we need to be um. Mm. That means that we're suppressing everything that's there down further down within us. We have been told to, um, basically, we've been suppressed. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 we're not being free and and as Ginny said, being able to speak up and be who we are. Yeah. Well, but, yeah. You start as a that, child, and you've seen them not hurt. You know. Yeah. Well, we just need to break that. And what we need to do is encourage each other to break it and yeah. get that punching bag. Yeah. Take a and photo of it. Yeah, and it's your time to be <laughs> seen and heard in a big way now. You know, I, I have to share something with you. Um, I used to work with pigs and it was my time outdoors and I kept falling down and crying because I had a huge brain injury and I was told to shut up, basically shut up. <laughs> so when I work with these pigs, I kept falling over pebbles. I would fall down and each time I would fall down, I would cry. Mm. And then I would stand up again and then I would keep going and I'd fall down. And this is what life is all about for us. We have to fall down, my darlings, to rise up again. Absolutely. Because that's the law of all, is that we need to, to say, no, I don't like that. Yes, I like that. No, yeah. I don't like that. And once you start the rhythm, so to speak, watch the magic. Mm -hmm. you, you'll be able to look in front of a mirror and fall in love with yourself. How many of you on here don't look in front of a mirror and fall in love with yourself? And you know, when you start falling in love with yourself and when you really begin to fall in love with yourself, that is where the healing takes place. Yeah, Ginny, Ginny, Ginny and I can sit up here and most of you are healers yourself. But if Ginny and I don't love ourselves, we can't be who we are. And we can't love other people and actually get that out there as well to other people. It's important. Mm. I explained to someone yesterday 
to fall in love with themselves by looking in the mirror. They were a healer, a beautiful healer. And they couldn't look at themselves because of something that's happened in their past and their childhood. And I said, you know, when you look in the mirror and begin to fall in love with you, then you start living your true purpose, uh, your true destiny in service and in, in, in healing another human being yeah. because you've fallen in love yeah. with you. And we, you, Linda, are the first and foremost important person here. It begins with you. There's that old adage saying, it begins with you. Yeah. And when you start falling in love and you start beating that pillow or that punching bag, watch it all fall away. It has to fall away. It has to come up out of you. It does. Yes. There were a few things that we have worked on with you. Uh, if you want to know anything more, you can contact us later and we'll tell you. Okay. okay. Thank you. But I'm very happy. You're looking very lovely and I just want to embrace you. Thank you are. You're looking clear. I mean, as I look at you now on the screen, I actually can see this glow coming from your face, which is awesome. <laughs> Thank you. I love Jonas, by the way. You're welcome. So if I get you to, you're so welcome to mute yourself, that would be lovely. And you can stay there if you want to. That's lovely. Look at that beautiful picture. Jonas, I love you. Thank you. Yes. It definitely froze there. So there's another person here that I'm... Do you see anybody there? Okay, let's say, Catherine, can you come out? You yes. sent us, you, you, yeah, you sent us a message, a private message. Can you come out? Can you unmute yourself, darling, or come out onto screen? So we can talk to you. You're welcome. Okay. Oh, she's mm -hmm. so welcome. Okay, so she can type. That's yeah. fine, Catherine. We'll get to see you one day. And if I may share, can I get a yes or no and start working on you, Ginny and I? If, if I may share, you, you said that. Um, yes, big yes coming in. Oh, wonderful. Okay, yeah. so sh we shared that video, that testimonial of that girl that um, beautiful lady after a healing after a horse injury. So what I can understand, Jenny, is that she has suffered one and she can't sit still or she cannot sit. Okay. So virtually the same. So we're going to go in and do a little twinking and okay. clicking the, the bones. Yeah, spine and bones. Bones and bones and bones and bones. I'll just go. Yes. So I'm going to start with her, with her hips. And I'm feeling the coccyx, very base of the spine. Mm, Definitely. It's like, yeah, it's like it's split. Yeah. A crack. I call it a crack. Yeah. Okay, so what I'm doing is I, I, I say thank you and I'm stretching my legs, which is, which is your legs. I can feel how painful that is. Catherine, if I can ask you a question, after this healing, do that, do thou believe? Yes. Oh, good girl. Are you ready? Okay, we just have a pulling on the right side. Do you get sciatica as well, Catherine? Okay. Do you do a do you do a lot of lifting with your work? I understand that you're a caregiver.
I think I'm just going to click yeah. it. Um, it, it, it. Thank you. It needs a it needs a good um, yeah hammering. Okay, Catherine, how are you feeling now? If you could move your hips for me, please. Okay, have you got any movement? If you could stand up and then sit down for me, I want to hear that click in you. What's been happening in your life that you've you've totally fed up with? Okay, so in other words, from what I can understand, Ginny, is that she's unable to sit. She's She has to keep moving to be able to be pain-free. Yeah. So for me, that's a good sign of um, a lot of unsettlement. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And on the go. So she has a – her energy field must be on the go all the time. Yeah. Too much um... – I'm feeling too much, too much pressure, really, in the in the earth earthy things, not to do with your spiritual life, but um, too much pressure, too much um, responsibility, not feeling like you can move forward, feeling stuck. Is that correct? Yeah. And lonely. Yeah. Mm. I, I can feel that you've got a, such a strong sense of responsibility that you feel like it's your responsibility to do all these things for everybody else and for your home and everything else. But you've got to look after you. It's most important. Oh, now something's happening to um, – okay, Catherine, can you feel that heat going down your spine? She said no. If you can't feel heat, can you heal? Can you feel energy in that area? Lift lower leg. Okay, that's cool. What I'm what I'm understanding here Catherine is actually I'm going to look for the the softest point within your whole being there are three things three things going on here Ginny I see a, uh, a an American Indian. I don't know what that is for you, Catherine. So I, what I'll do is I'll jump in that dim dimension and where I'm seeing, and we begin. Sometimes a healing can take place, people, 
in the dimension and where it was created. And, it yeah. could, and if, if, you, if you believe in past lives or something, sometimes we head back there and to, to um, transcend and transmute. So I'm going to head back there because that's my biggest yes to head back there. So Catherine, you need to tell me straight away and what you're what you're feeling. Again, I can do this in a just a few sentences and a breath. Oh, got it. So Catherine, what are you feeling now? Are you fe feeling light? Beautiful. A lot of energy has just been lifted from her. Beautiful. I'm going to leave that with you. She she just said soft feelings, so that's that. You're, you're actually, you're clear now. Your energetic field is clear. So watch how things start to change. Mm. And our healing... I say our healing, we don't stop, Ginny and I. It's continuously for you all, yeah. especially the ones that are on the list and the ones that, um, who we call out. We, just because this ends in 20 minutes doesn't mean that Ginny and I finish. We keep going and we keep going and we keep going until we know that things have moved for you. And on an etheric level, I know for a fact that healing will carry on for weeks. Hmm. You're, this, you're never alone. I'll put it that way. You're never alone. I, I'm because Janice's photo is up here, and thank you, Catherine. Because Janice's photo is up here, and I know that she's attempted to get on with another um, modality. Let's take a look at we Janice because it's yeah. been a whole year, Ginny. She she is so delightful. I see her pop up from time to time, and because she her picture is stuck on the screen, let's yeah. head to her. Yeah, absolutely. From what I understand, that um, Jennifer is a real, true blue em empath. Yeah. I want to say to you, Jennifer, is being that real, true blue empath is a gift for humanity. Yes. And it's something that we shouldn't that we shouldn't shy away from. So how do we live in a, in a world of um, devastation, um, oppression, depression? Well, that's all lifting now <clears throat> because of what and who you are and because the heart people are coming forward more and you need to come forward more. Yeah. So I know, that, I know that we all have the gift of empathic some more so. But I feel that you take too much on. That's exactly what I'm picking up to. <laughs> She's like a sponge. <laughs> You've absorbed everybody's everybody's crap. And I'm and I'm brutally honest here. You've absorbed everybody's stuff. Yeah. Not only your own or your partners or your parents or your friends or whatever, even the people out on the street. Yeah. Even the people on this beautiful internet base, and she's saying yes. You absorb and absorb and absorb. I see you so delightful. If I have full permission, and Ginny and I have full permission. <sighs> I can see you're like an angel there and you're just going around without knowing it. You're helping other people and soaking up all their stuff. Uh, um, I used to be very similar myself. myself and um, one, you know, down my journey, I came to the decision that actually I was not going to take on anybody else's stuff anymore, even though I was going to still carry on my work and do what I do. I made the conscious decision and intention that actually, no, I am not going to be a sponge and absorb other people's stuff. 
And by just doing that, it's almost like you place this barrier around you where, yes, you can still freely flow your energy out to others and help and do what you need to do, but their stuff cannot come back in. You've got to make that con conscious decision to build that wall up, if you like, and it's just, you, just on the edge of your energy field, so their stuff cannot come back in at you. Mm -hmm. But you can still flow and do freely, love and light everywhere that you know that you do. Because I can see you're an absolute angel there. I can feel you. You're you're lovely, and you've got such good intentions and wanting to help everyone. Also, too, if you could have a bath for me, if you have a bath, I know it's hot over where you live, and in that bath, and for ever, for whoever needs this, this is my cleanser is one cup of himalayan salt in a warm bath yeah. one cup of apple cider vinegar and a few drops of um, lavender oil sometimes we need to do the things physically and i want you to get in there no more than 10 minutes do it before you go to bed and i want you to submerge in it put the whole body underneath that actually clears um, unnecessary stuff away from your etheric field. And salt also, pardon? Salt and lavender, absolutely brilliant at doing that, yeah. And I also too, because, because empaths take on knowingly or unknowingly, I would go to bed and every night, this is what I say, show me areas where I need to cut myself from people that I've met in the street, people that I've met over the internet, because the internet is oozing goobies. Yeah. Cut yourself off. Don't, don't spend a lot of time on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or anything like that. It's all about self-care for you to be a service in the world. And blow love to everybody that you meet. And I want to say here and announce it publicly, there are times that we're not allowed to blow love. You leave it up to the great one to, 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 but to keep yourself in harmony with each other. But more on that because Ginny and I are doing some live podcasts and we will have a lot of recording. And we're going to talk specifically about... Um, a certain subject yeah that's that's coming up very very shortly <laughs> very shortly <laughs> over, over soundcloud we all have our own tv show plus our beautiful weekly here so i'm just going to go down the list here again we're getting up to 11 57 and i know that you want to do an abundance yeah. um activation clearing yeah um, you just have to excuse me some i've just got things around me at the moment. Okay, we have Robin. Hi, Robin. Can I ask you and can I call you out quickly? Okay, I'm unmuted, but I'm not sure how to get on the, how to get on the screen. Okay, okay. hi, Robin, how are you? Lovely to meet you. Lovely hi, to meet you. So you were from Shannon. That's right. Where's Shannon? <laughs> it's not far from Palmerston. Oh, lovely. Thank you. <laughs> How can we help you? Well, I, I do healing work as well, and I'm wanting direction if there's anything else I can do to aid my healing work. I've been spending time healing myself as well, and I've been listening to the things that you've been discussing hmm. what sort of healing work do you do do you do any modalities I do it with a spiritual group I do from spiritual I'm not sure what that sound is so. should I put my camera on yes you can Hello. Yeah, 
Hello. Lovely to see you and finally meet you. Yes. Oh, you're a lovely goddess, aren't you? Look yes. at you. It's really lovely to see everybody's faces, isn't it, Ginny? It is. It is. It's great to see. I, I, I made sure I was dressed this week. Last week I was in bed on, on my bed and I thought, please don't let this happen in my house. <laughs> Okay. You want to be able to enhance your healing work. Healing work. What I'm going to say here and what I found is um, there are a lot, of, a lot of modalities that are not working anymore. Yeah. What you've been trained in, I mean, it's forever expanding. You can't keep the flow of energy still, can you? Right. And so what we need to do as a practitioner is to just simply be and just simply flow. Robin, you can't make a mistake. No, that's right, you can't. And, you know, if it's all about a name change or creating a different card, do it. Just match that energy that's surrounding you. Oh, look at you. You're just absolutely beautiful. I just want to get my hands on you. So what you do is we're forever changing, Ginny and Absolutely. I. You know, what worked yesterday isn't working today. And, you know, we have always said that we you cannot put us in a box. <laughs> so we don't put ourselves and each other in a box. So I we flow. Something there because I think the, the group I'm with, I think there's some limitations in the group that I'm dealing with. I mean, you were talking before about being able to trust ourselves and open up ourselves and not be suppressed. Yeah. Is that really doesn't go with me in the group I'm in. Well, uh, look, um, Robin, I can tell you a little bit about my journey. I used to follow the rules and do all the healing stuff, and I've learned so many healing techniques, and, and, and I used to follow them to the letter, and, I, you know, I felt the pressure of I must follow it to the letter, and... And all that stuff because of what you're taught, that you must do it this way and you must do it that way. And you know what? As soon as I made the conscious decision, I left I left a group because I felt that that was a little bit confining for me. And as soon as I made the conscious decision that, no, I'm a free spirit. I mm. have to do it my way. And I feel this the same with everyone. We're so individual in our light codes and our makeup that we we have to do our healing in our own individual way and we have to connect with our guides in our own individual way we have to connect with the spirit world in our own individual way we have to connect with the earth in our own individual way and so all of these rules and regulations can become blocks yes it's about literally being that jack in the box and going, ping, that's it, no more boxes. And just get out there and jump around and be free. And you know, as the only rules that I follow are that everything is done with love and light. Yes. That's the only rule. So, yes. you know, allow the spirit world to work with your imagination. If you're a spiritual healer, allow them, because I am as well, and allow them to put into your mind either images or sounds or voices or whatever however you get it to guide you to work with that individual person in an individual way right. they'll teach you uh, since i've dropped those boxes i have been given so much more i can't express how excited i am about this and each time you know like heather said things are changing all the time the energies to the planet are changing all the time so we're given we're being given new stuff all the time and it's like a big creative buzz going on in here because all these new things are coming in and when i've got a client on the table sometimes i can <laughs> give them the strangest things <laughs> and they go, okay, are you sure? and they go yes just say it or do it or whatever it is and i do and it surprises me when the client afterwards mm. said, wow, that was so amazing. You know, and I'm thinking, well, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, and, so and, and it's our values. If we hold true to our values, 
and love is. for another human being, we cannot make a mistake. Yeah. If, if we're after um, being unkind to people or, or especially a practitioner, all, all we want is your money. <laughs> yeah. It ain't going to work. Believe me, no, no. it's not going to work. Yeah. So I know I don't be belong anywhere. Mm -hmm. I thought I had to belong somewhere, but I don't belong anywhere. In fact, I am everywhere. Me but too. I'm, I'm, <laughs> but I'm free to go. I'm free to be with you today in this moment. Um, after we finish, Ginny and I might have a conversation and then we're on to something else. We're building something else and we're laughing because how are we going to do that? We don't need to know. Or we yeah. know it's, it's going to happen. So we, Ginny and I are looking at a huge retreat coming up. Oh. A huge retreat, a three-day retreat, and it's going to be so intensive. We have a special guest coming, and it's going to be so intensive. Now, we don't need to know the how. We know that this is huge. We mm -hmm. will have people coming from all around the world, but yeah. not like it's ever been seen before, if this makes sense, because it's changing. People are wanting um, it all different. People want to um, jump out of that box, as Ginny said. We need to be free in our spirit to be that miracle yeah. in our life. And, I mean, I'm a visionary and I look at you, Robin, and I've seen you from time to time. You're always holding everybody up, meaning you're always responding. But I see that as because... I too do that. So when you're being of service and you're giving out freely, the law of attraction and abundance will come back to you in a completely different way. Oh, I mean, it fits really well. I'm very lucky. Very and good. that's and that's how we how we should be. Yeah. I always say that being a practitioner, a healer. Oh, sometimes I wish I could get rid of that word, but I'm not going to. That we are the most richest people on this earth plane. Yes. I've always said the misfits at will inherit the earth. <laughs> and it's happening. And the tribes are coming together. Um, people are breaking away from the same old, same old. I think Nikki Hammond wrote about it this morning. We have to be us. Yeah. We have to be quirky. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> You know, in a healing, I had a whole lot of people and there was this dead fly, fly well, it was nearly dead. And I said, oh, my gosh, where am I going to put this pain in from this person that was suffering? Help me. What do I do with this big ball of um, pain? And it had to go somewhere. I've never, well, <laughs> all I got was into the fly. You're going to do Jesus' Jesus's <laughs> healing ministry today? And I go, no, I can't do that into a fly because that, that's hurting something else. Yeah. All I got was um, you must put it in to the fly because I couldn't put it anywhere. It was so painful for this person. So I did. I was asked to do what I was asked to do. And you know what? <sighs> I picked up that fly without anybody knowing me with a tear in my eye. And I honoured that fly because it was dying anyway. But I'm just saying that this is the thing that happens. These are the energies that are happening. And we, be, we can become anything that we want to. And you're beautiful, Robin. Thank you. You and are totally you. You're absolutely beautiful. And we're here today, Ginny and I, to go, hi, I see you. Thank you. How can we help? So start exploring. Start, start being playing. quirky. Start, absolutely. Start playing. Start, you know, one of the biggest things, and this is for everybody, that we can do for, and give us ourselves a huge favour is to stop worrying about what other people think of us. Yes. And this is why a lot of people feel suppressed and start getting ill and everything because... It's just how society has been made. We've been, you know, like we've had our lids put on us, if you like. We're not allowed to freely express ourselves. And it's so wrong. We should be able to in whatever way, as long as, you know, like I said before, as long as it's 
for the goodness of ourselves and other people, we should be allowed to freely express who we are. Everybody should be. And you'll I, find healing will just expand. Is it, is it even a time when healing should not be seen? Like you were talking before about um, maybe knowing when to have a shield up or a boundary and not even do healing? Robin, I'm going to tell you something. I don't even protect myself. No, you don't need to. I, I, I don't need I don't need protection. Don't need to. If I lock myself away in protection, I'm actually locking my heart away. Okay. And nothing can hurt me. Oh, believe me, I go to Ginny or Professor Nikki and Glenn if I get a, a something. But honestly, if I know that I if I know who I am, and and anyway, if Look, I've been on radio, television, newspaper, you name it. You know, every critic that you can think of has tried to do something. It hurts for one moment in what people are expressing about you. It hurts for one moment. And I might, might, might cry to Ginny, help me. I might leave it for too late, actually. But I don't care because that means that if, I, if I'm not getting that, I'm not doing my work. Right. And I'm here to be a change. I'm here, and Ginny and I are here to be that change by us walking our talk. Yeah. I don't protect myself either. I don't protect, I, I don't. I don't protect myself. I know, this is about your belief system. If you know, without a shadow of a doubt, that you're protected, you will be. And, you know, yes, we all get something because... You know, like Heather said, she might get us something, and I might too, and I go to Heather, and, and, you know, and I go and have healing sessions regularly because I love having it. I love receiving. It's The main thing is if you're standing in your power and you're feeling that you're on the right path, you've got that rod of light through you that's into the ground, you can't go wrong. Hmm. Oh. And I think the only thing that I use um, if I'm standing up above a crowd or a mass healing or something is lavender. I always wash my hands after each healing. I wash my hands because I'm seeing some pretty, 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 pretty sick people. I wash my hands and I spray lavender all around me. And then I'm ready for an, another 10,000 people. The same with Ginny. We're ready for another 10,000 people. And that's and, all I do is, is yeah. wash my hands and I say thank you, thank you, thank you. And my I don't use any of my energy. And we're vibrating so much is that we're so far out there. The only thing that we've mastered, Ginny, isn't it, that we're yeah. able to come back in down yeah. onto the earth plane straight away. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and I will say this and announce it, it's me. I'm the master of what I am doing, and I only have guidance from the spirit realm or God, because it's me that's that's mastered that key. So we are. We have a lot of things coming up, Robin, for for many, many, many people. We've got podcasts. We've got retreats. We've got um, programs coming up, and they're all in the in making. Because oh. they've already been made for us. <laughs> Look forward to it. Thank you. Because what our heart desire is, why we began this, is to who heals the healer? Who stands by the healer and support? Who, who is there without taking something from you? And yes, both Ginny and I have got shock horror stories about spirituality. But ultimately, at the end of the day, I can say to you, hi, to you all, hi, I see you. And in that yeah. seeing you, sets you free because yeah. we see you. Yeah. And, you know, we might do this over these healing programs, whatever. Sometimes we need to. I don't normally use my hands. Normally, I'm very quiet. Normally, Ginny steps in and it's we work in sync with each other. That's wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. And look, 
Go and heal money. You're so beautiful. All you need is a card with a beautiful face on it and just go and do it. <laughs> Thank you. The Thank right you. people will find you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I just want to check through the list here. And of course, um, in the back of my mind, Ginny, I'm thinking of everybody else that you, that you, I don't want to leave anybody out. And I know it's 12, excuse me, 14. Should we do a mass healing? Absolutely. Mass. Absolutely. Because we can. We can. So we're just going to be a few moments and a few seconds quietly and then Ginny's going to come in through her abundant meditation. Yeah. Um, and please join in. I hope you're all feeling it. Mm. Oh, they are. But there's something that came up for me. I could taste a lot of mercury. It's 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 a lot of mercury um, um, in dietary systems. If I may just quickly say this and then I'll pass it over to you. Yeah, go for it. You know, we give away also um, some beautiful things here. If you're feeling like you're tasting mercury or metallic feeling uh, out of your mouth like a blood or if your diet has been reacting you're actually poisoning yourselves so from my heart to you I really want you all to look at what you're eating what supplements you're taking because we spoke about the energies of what we should be what we should be doing is again what worked yesterday is not working today and that comes in diet form um anyway i've blown it out if you've been feeling it i've just just got rid of it and it's gone i want you to and, and maybe Ginny, that we can touch on that very shortly in our podcast or something that we can teach about a pendulum yeah or our yeses and nos our muscle testing i know that i don't need that but maybe we need to give these tools out to these people to get them to be in charge of their destiny yeah you you've been using yours and maybe we get and i want you to really tap into your intuitiveness and i want i my diet is nothing now i can't eat a lot of things really i just go first thought and mainly it could be um just a steamed veggie or something by through just simply choosing a color so that feeling and that taste and that urgency is gone so let's start with abundance okay. I, abundance thank you Okay, everyone, I just want you to sit. Angel, I knew that. That was for you. I wanted to say your name, and that's that's what it was. That's awesome. It was for you. Okay. Okay. Just sit. Close your eyes. I want you to take a nice couple of deep breaths. But as you're taking those deep breaths, I want you to feel into your body. Feel your inner vibration. Feel the power that you have in every cell. Imagine the light that's in every cell. A 
couple of nice deep breaths. You may even feel the inside of your body just slightly vibrating or feeling warmth or heat. So now I want you to imagine your, your energy body coming out, expanding out through, through your skin in all directions, but going up to above the planet. And I want you to imagine, if you will, with your imagination, that around the planet, it's almost like planet Earth is in a Merkaba, which is two pyramids joined together. So now I want you to imagine that all the energy and abundance that's inside this massive Merkaba that's are floating around the earth, connecting with humanity, connecting with things in nature, connecting with the earth herself. All this abundance that the earth has is in this Merkaba. And it's a buzz of energy and things and hopes and dreams and wishes, finances, opportunities, business expansion, whatever it is that that you individually are wanting. I want you to imagine that in this giant Merkaba, all mingling around together, really powerful, full of light, full of expansion, full of love. And now from this giant Merkaba, I want you to imagine a smaller Merkaba coming away and coming to you individually and just sitting above your head. And through all the points in this Merkaba, it's drawing in all of the abundance, powerful abundance energy, colors, light, light cones, all coming in through the points into the center of this Merkaba that's above your head. And you can feel it, feel how powerful it is with this abundance. Now the point that's coming down towards your crown chakra, I want you to see that point opening and this abundance flow of light, love, and all these wonderful things are gonna pour into the top of your head, pouring down through your chakra system and spreading throughout every single cell as it goes down through. Really powerful, really high vibration, light codes that are coming into your body all attached to abundance, love and light. Feeling it right the way down to the bottoms of your toes, to your fingertips. Feel the palms of your hands heating up, a heat that you've never felt before. Absolutely filling every single cell in your body with abundance flow. Feeling it going out past your skin and into your energy field. And everything that you have wished for is now with you. And the intention now that I want you to hold is that these things will unfold into your life at the perfect timing for your highest good. Mm. This will all be shown to you, all in your highest good and in the perfect timing. Feel everything in your body vibrating because you're now your body is filled with abundant light coat, light codes, full of abundance, full of power. Feel it, stand in it, be it. And when you're ready, just open your eyes and come back into the room, feeling relaxed, energized, and abundant. Now, if you can do this regularly yourself, in fact, I would, I would start doing this regularly yourself and you'll be amazed because I've been doing a similar abundance thing now for about five months or six months. 
And I have been getting all sorts of opportunities coming to me. So please do this regularly. You'll be really amazed at how things will start flowing for you. Wow. You're very welcome. Cool. Beautiful. We just done our chat box. So we've come to the end again. This will go up again live on YouTube. Thank you, thank you, thank you for you to go keep going over and over and over again, especially the abundance one. What we'll do is later on in the week, Ginny will, I'll tape it for her and we'll put up a link that you can tap into it. Yeah. You're so welcome. You're so very welcome. And thank you, everyone, for being with us. Please share it with your friends once it's up, the recording, because everyone who watches it will receive healing. Oh, look at you all. Yeah, thank you, everyone. So I'm going to sign out now. And thank you. And we'll see you again next week. Lots of